I woke up at 10 p.m. My sleep schedule was in shambles, and in 12 hours, I had a long and tedious drive of six hours to the Ozarks to go on vacation with Hales and meet up with some friends for some time off. But before I finished getting ready and had everything set up for said vacation, I wanted to do one last stream, and I even concocted a plan to keep my bases on the smaller side and hopefully have something to return to for when I came back in three days. And this was the beginning of that story. You know, it is, bro. It's late. It's I'm a late gamer. What can I say? I have. I'm going on vacation tomorrow, and we're leaving it like. Uh, I'm gonna be up for a long time, chat. I'm gonna be awake for a long time, but it'll be okay because it'll be chill time. Yeah. Don't got a lot of time, my guys. Yoink it! Holy shit. Not being able to see makes everything so hard. Who would have thunk? Or the, or the width is half as big. Because, like, when you, if you look at, um, if you do it, if you do a stretch res and you do like an AK spray, it looks like it's a lot tighter than it is. And some people. What the fuck was that? Oh, he's, he's trying to sneak up on me, man. Fuck's sake. Sneaky boy, dude. Wait, I should mark that shit. Fuck. Get around there. Yo! Stop eating the fucking hemp, my guy. At this point in time, I was actually sort of entertaining the idea of a farm. Although I had no BPs and no business doing it, the fact of the matter was that although I woke up at 10 p.m., I hadn't begun to stream until 2 a.m. With that in mind, the goal of snowballing didn't seem like one where I'd be given many options. So I continued forth, looking for a place to make a base that was optimal for farming, as well as flat enough to put down a decent footprint. I'm gonna be sleep. Actually, I'm not. I'm staying up the entire night. So I guess my friends won't be having anything to complain about. They just don't know my power of will. All right. Whoa! What the fuck, Speedy? What the? Bro, my helmet. I want it. Come back. Okay. You didn't think you didn't think I'd style on you that hard, did you? Box. Oh, fire arrows. Wait, metal isn't decaying. Wait, what? Yeah, we got a research table. We get a rug, I guess. Was there any ladders on here? I didn't see. There might be somewhere. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hey. I'll fucking take it, chat. Did I get it? Ooh. Flat boy. Ooh. See that shit? You see it, chat? You see the line? It's a winning line. Stop. And as you might expect, I began setting up my base, farming to upgrade it properly, running the nearby sewer branch for scrap and components, and even getting lucky enough to find a gun that I already had researched so I could repair it and use it for attack or defense. I then stumbled upon the first of a few decaying bases. This one had over a thousand cloth worth of grindables. The next had a little bit of scrap and other resources that were in a TC that it broke with fire arrows. After that, I found yet another decayed base that had a wide variety of different good and important loot. Of course, I had to grind a lot of these excess components components, but it would give me refined resources and more scrap to research what I needed. And after that, I finally found something that made me reconsider setting up a farm at the base I'd already set up. All right, let's get this set up. As you can see, I found a river mouth, but not just any, one that you could stand up in and easily make a core that is completely protected on three sides as well as the roof. Now I immediately got to farming and gathering other resources so I wouldn't have to trek all the way home and bring stuff from there. I also managed to find a garage door and a bean can that I could research and promptly went to grind to get resources from the outpost to make this secondary base. But just as I was getting back to the river, I ran into some trouble.
Wait. Oh, I fucking... I dropped the TC. Oh. Oh. We found one, chat. Oh, wait. There's two of them. Bunker. Oh, they're splitting up. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wait. That's a different... That's just the AI. I can't... I can't... I don't even want to fight right now, though. This is the first time... I literally had so much loot on me, like, four different times. And every single time, I was still down. And now... I can't. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, shot. There's two guys ahead. Oh, my hands are cold. Fuck. Right when you go to, like... Oh, I thought that was a fucking flashlight. Alright, come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm in a skyline chat. I don't know. There might be two of them. Well, I know there's two of them. The pool? Are they in the fucking pool? Oh no. Is this a decay base? What are their full kits? I'm gonna die. Need to have cover. Oh no! Run! They have a sniper. He's 16 HP. Oh, he's down. Who's the silencer then? How do you track me so hard? Holy shit. The guy I killed dropped the gun? Guys, I have a semi in my gun. He had two guns. Well, fuck it. I'll go back. I'll be able to break these, so that might have been a really bad plan, but I just can't be bothered. I fuck it up, I fuck it up. Oh, I think I did this like really well, chat. Okay, nice. I'm gonna get spot. Get another key lock going. I then spent an egregious amount of time making the new bunker that uses the weird roof glitch. After that was complete, I finally headed back to see if the people that I fought were still on and still active. Oh. Are you? Van life. Oh, shit. That was a really bad push for me. The other there too.
Definitely own this parking spot. My hands are so sweaty, chat and cold. Insane. I didn't even heal. I'm hoping that guy that I just killed is on a timer. Auto turret inside. Just sneak your footsteps. I think all their bags are too close. Oh, AK, nice. No man ran out of meds. I did body tag him the shot of him. Can we go on roof? A DB. One med. Oh. Bro, you're a straight bitch. Same. Straight bitch. from this angle. Two bound timers. Dude, bro, my, the clamminess and coldness of my hands cannot be understated. Ugh. What, why is it when you sleep at weird times, your hands get clammy? Weird champ, body. Kinda weird. Nothing in there. Nothing to be gained from here, I don't think. Go in the back. Last thing in the ditch. Ditch. Shortly after I got back to the river base, I banked a lot of the extra gear sets and some guns, and then proceeded to head back home to grab some jackhammers for a base that was partially decayed down the hill from me. I jackhammered out one of the doorways that had a soft side exposed, and once I crawled through, this is what I found. I played a full two by two. open to me could be a shotgun trap though i have oh open doors loot so far okay oh i need that there's a windmill there and a mixing table and this I bring a way to break this hopefully he has one. Oh, a jackhammer this guy's role play as fuck but I love him grenades I have 26 instant shells at the other base Get 20 there okay auto turrets damn this guy got airdrops I think jeez jeez and, oh, flamethrower, nice. That fuel on me. Let's see a fuel on his base. Yes. All right, let's do it. I'm dead. It's fine though. It's worth it. That was way too much. It's st wait, stones that came with metal isn't okay. Four hundred and forty-five G mini Christmas, dude. Now I know for many people, this video has been extremely chill in comparison to my previous ones. And that I completely acknowledge, but there was a story here. And as I mentioned previously, I started streaming at 2 AM and the length went for four to six hours, which meant I was literally playing the most unpopulated time possible. But the amount of bases that we found at least made it interesting. Now, something that does suck to tell you is that my main base had obviously harbored most of the gear, GP, etc., had gotten raided in the three days that I was away. However, However, my river base with a couple gear sets and some upkeep inside had been left untouched, but there was no tier one, tier two, or any real resources besides what was in the TC for upkeep and not much of that. So being the good streamer content creator that I try to be, I decided to do some farming off stream. I would get a tier two and some raw resources so that if I did lose the gear sets that I had left in this base, I could at least fall back on crafting meds and ammo so that I wouldn't be brought back all the way to prim gear. Now, one of my neighbors that lived just down the river was one of the most aggravating 
types of players out there they would sit afk in their base with their full gear sets l96s and bolts and they would they would wait until they heard a fight around their area and they wouldn't go out of their base they wouldn't attempt to set up some type of ambush but immediately sit on their roof and pray that the person would go within shooting range and then after the kill they would de-gear and go loot naked these people with full gear sets whilst i as well as many other players are roaming the map with our best sets and i lost 400 scrap or more off stream trying to get a tier 2 to this exact play style after that once i had started stream and decided to just see what i could do i heard heli out and of course this was the only time they left their base quite literally and so i thought i'd give it a shot see if i could take them down whilst the heli was rocketing their base and they were distracted Oh shit. Yo, maybe I can fucking I only have one SAR. Just run it. Damn. I got fucking nuked. They've got M2. They're two full kits. They they're like they play like bitches though, so I know they suck. These guys most likely blow complete ass. Otherwise I have no idea why they play like the way that they do. Wait, did it just absolutely rick roll them in one shot? So it doesn't even need to go back? Wait, it's just going away. Wait, what? Did it one shot him? Oh, one of them's outside. The other one's going outside. Shit. Wait, they didn't get it. I don't have this research, I don't think. No, I have AK, but I don't know. Sorry, nice. Good job, man. Oh, shit. Fuck, he was hiding in the fucking fire, bro. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's my Sargon, dude. I only have one of those. I don't have DBs and shit after that. But... Oh, yes. The L96. Oh. Would you look at that? Hunting the naked. Nice. What a gamer. I got absolutely demolished, dude. Oh. That's kind of cute. Look, chat, I'm gonna definitely murder you later, but thanks, bro. Wait, why'd you take my food, bitch? What the fuck? The roof camera's back at the base. They do actually have somebody on the roof. Yo, listen, thanks for the tier one 23 months, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. That's my guy. Wait, what? I didn't have a fire arrow, bro. He killed, he's coming back. Oh, she's fucking loaded. That second, that was a fake fire arrow. I didn't have that. Really need to work on my keys, chat. Seems solo esque. Bro, I need to grind. I also need this. Shit. I mean, banking it's not gonna do me any good, right? I need to use it to get more loot. That that two man could be back at any point, and a hazmat dude is just not strong enough. Two L96 or bolt. I think they one is bolt, one is online, or they both have online. I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to survive. I gotta get this loot, grind it up, and then I need to get back. If I can get all this home, I'm in a really good spot. Russ do be asking a lot of me, though, to be honest. Yeah, this is enough to for a tier two. That's really huge, though. I'm killing this, dude. That last shot. Kind of bullshit, but we'll take it. He's got stuff on him. Had to. Is this him, Dolores? Dolores. Dolores. It looks like him the same color. Yeah. You should not try to cleaver me. What the fuck? It's weird. I don't. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. 
He gets to double. He gets to double wound me, but I projectile and valid him. Fair. Seems fair. Yet again, I lost my only real weapon, but there was a little bit of hope. I saw a shop was selling guns for sulfur and decided to make a little bit of a farm trip out of it. Hitting barrels, nodes, getting a bit of wood, and then I headed over, hoping to buy a SAR and use it to hopefully make a snowball begin. Oh. It's whack, dude. Fucking whack. Now, that wasn't a huge break before we're back talking about the overview of the situation. So I'll make it short. If I hadn't died to one of the bitchiest play styles off stream, the two players that we heard earlier trying to take Kelly with an M249, I would not be in this situation. I would have had a tier two earlier, been able to research my SAR, and who knows what we could have accomplished given those different circumstances. So I made a decision. If I felt I had the slightest opportunity to take them on again, I would charge them with whatever I had. But until that time, I was still trying to get more scrap and other resources to see if I could make a tier three in case they logged off before I got to fight them again and raiding them was my only option. And so to water treatment, I went. Oh my. Wait, no! Rats! I meant to use the fire. I was gonna reload the fire arrow and then splash it near him because I had an angle on him, but now I'm fucking low HP from falling twice like a dumbass. Feels good, man. Feels fucking brilliant, man. He didn't push, did he? He's definitely not holding unless he's got a pipe. Dude, this guy's DB, bitch. He just pulled out his DB and crouched. That'd be fucking hilarious. I would cackle. Cackle, I would. Oh, shit. It's not him. Unless he changed outfits, it's not him. This, this guy was tracking me pretty well though, so guessing second guy is at least info. I need to follow further back even than I thought I would need to. I'm gonna full rotate just in case he went. I think he might, probably would trailed me. This guy probably watched my flank. This guy was running towards here. So I think I I think I can take over his square that he was in. I'm gonna go right. I made enough noise where he probably thinks I'm gonna go through shrubbery because it's safer. I think he'd be over there, but he might still be holding in here if he's a shit player. The players just tend to hold where they last were. Oh, well, I need scrap, so there you go. How she wrote. What the f Dude, these guys sit in their base for like 20 hours a time. It's oh so crazy, bro. Nice. Bro, wait, where's my where's my horse? I need him. I need to zoom back to home. Dude, did that get him? It, dude, insta rocketing is as hard as the field, dude. Do the thing I want to do. I'm gonna try it, chat. This is sketch as fuck. It's only got one gunner per side. It's only got one gunner per side. I this. Go, Skippy! He can't see shit. Oh my gosh. Ah. If he dies, I'm gonna jump in there and go deep. Ah. Oh, is there two of them? Oh, I can't take it on. Oh, I hate these people. I can fire him on one. I can fire him on one and then kill him with the revolver. But not two. That's the problem. If there's one, it's doable as fuck.
That's a clipper. That's a fucking clipper right there, chat. I heard a clip. Did I hear a clip? One, two, three. Although in many ways it was extremely sudden, we had stolen their best weapon. Nay, the best weapon in the game. And we had taken it from some individuals that although they had the biggest advantage, played like the biggest bitches. Taking away this gear meant so much to me. And it's in all honesty, the primary reason for this video. We went through a lot of struggles and it wasn't always action packed. But when I left this server the next day, I knew I had done something that had a monumentous impact on the area nay the server because i can guarantee two guys i just killed weren't going to use these guns for anything besides sitting in a raid base and doing offline raids and with that if you want more risky boy content you can check me out at twitch.tv slash irispp the link will be in the description below and thanks for watching this video comment and subscribe peace out and i fucking love you guys hope you have a great rest of your night a great rest of your day and an even greater tomorrow